Good, beautiful morning, everybody. Silas back again today, and today I am headed to an auction. I've actually missed the last two local farm auctions because I was out of town, but when this one popped up, I said, you know what, I'm in town, I have some stuff going on later today, but this morning I don't have anything going on, so I'm going to an auction. There's a couple really cool trucks, one especially that I'm hoping I can buy. I don't know for sure if I can get it bought or not, but we're gonna find out, and who knows what else we're gonna find. So I'm gonna hit the road, Let's get over there. This brings back some memories. This is actually the town where I went to high school, the metropolis of Nickerson, Kansas. <laughs> it's a pretty small town, but that's where I went to high school. I drove over here every day. But yeah, I drove this road many, many, many times. I've actually known about these trucks. They've been there forever and a day. I mean, for years and years and years, they've been sitting there and they were never for sale, but I guess they're for sale now. Lucky number 101. Kind of cool little stallion twin seven. I had a one about like that it was a Mustang. Sold it a long time ago to a guy that collected Mustangs. He collected Mustang cars and he just thought it was really cool so he wanted a Mustang lawnmower too. Bunches of junk. And here's the truck I came to bid on. F850, you don't see the big ones very often. Thing is a rusty piece of junk, but it's got the factory tack, factory vacuum gauge. Pretty cool truck, if I can get that sun glare off. It's about thinking about filming early in the morning and late in the evening. It's got a big old motor in it. Look at that thing. Look at that in the front. Unfortunately, the carburetor is missing off of this. I'm going to go look around on the pallets and see if it's over there somewhere. But yeah, it's even got the uh, scoop on it. It's kind of unusual because this is a custom cab. It's got the chrome around the windshield and the chrome grill. Unfortunately, that must have just happened. That's a fresh crunch because this hood is big truck hood only. It doesn't, it's not the same as the smaller trucks. And this is the big, big truck with the fat fenders and all that. I'm not sure how I'm going to get it home because the tires are flat on the back. The tire's off on the front. It's going to be a challenge to get this thing loaded. It's very heavy and it's very tall. But I think I can get it towed back home if I can get these back tires to hold air, or at least halfway hold air. It's not very far to my place. It's like an eight minute drive, if that even. And if you take the back roads, it's a little bit more than that, but still not far. So I think I can get it towed home. Here's one of those hog feeder pans I could turn into a bottle cap. There's a piece there I might have to bid on. Old Dodge tailgate. Early 90s, I'm guessing. Looks like a brand new tailgate. It is a brand new tailgate. So, uh, yeah. I think I'm going to have to bid on that. Bunches of just random furniture and stuff. The only thing in here I see I might want is this piece right here. It's kind of a neat cabinet. I've got a couple of those already and just kind of need to use old vintage stuff like that. Now check out this setup. you got to row really, 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 really fast to be able to stay on top of the water with those keys. Yeah, I'll probably bid on all this Ford stuff. There was something else over here too. These fork extensions here, these will not fit our loaders, but these will fit the skid steer. Now obviously I can't pick up a car with a skid steer anyway, but every now and then I have like an old truck bed or something that doesn't have a floor in it. I don't want to tear it up, but my forks don't reach all the way across. These here would be able to get all the way across without tearing up the bed. If they go cheap, I'll buy them. I don't want to spend a whole lot of money. I could get these made, so I don't want to spend too much on them. And then there's another one of those hog feeders down here. I don't think that one has writing on it, so that would work for a bottle cap. Unless it's in the bottom of one of these tubs, I do not see the carburetor for that truck. So it's been gone for a long time, so I'm sure it's just gone. Here's this one here. I'm not, I think this is a 71 or two now that I look at it with that grill. Kind of on the rusty side, but it's got good patina on it. But these trucks just don't have a whole lot of value. So yeah, we might bid on this one. I don't know. Somebody had a bad day. This thing got creamed hard. Well, it's a diesel though. Well, the good news is they're gonna split into two rings later, but right now they're just doing the trailers. Well, I didn't even record my first buy of the auction. I wasn't planning on bidding, but man, nobody was bidding on them. There's a whole stack of them here. They're aluminum signs, but they're painted signs. And I mean, for what I gave for them, it was a little bit of nothing and just a few cents a piece. I couldn't turn them down. All I really wanted was the crate. I don't even know what's in there. I don't really care. I gave $2 for the crate. I just thought this was amusing. Warning. Use of this case by others is against the law. Well, that's not a good sign. It's been about an hour now, and they're just now finishing up with the first trailer, and that was the small trailer. The next two trailers are bigger than that, so uh, I have a feeling this can be a long auction. I like this little building right here, and it's not attached. It's its own unit. And so I went and talked to them, and I talked them into selling it. So uh, I want to try to buy the building. I don't want the stuff inside it. Somebody else can buy that. But this building itself, that is so cool. That would look perfect in my uh, little junkyard compound I've got going on. So we're going to try to get it at least.
By the box now we got that one's partially empty and this one's still completely full looks like. I believe it's the same thing. We better make sure. Yep, you bet. Take one or two, one or two boxes there. I'll buy the box. Fifty dollars a box. I'll pay on fifty. Fifty down on here on twenty bucks a box. I'll pay yep. on twenty. Twenty down on twenty five. Hit twenty five and thirty. You pay on thirty five. Thirty five and forty. You forty five. Forty five. Forty five and above here on forty five. I got forty bid. Forty five. Forty five and five here and forty down on here and forty five. Anybody else here at forty five a piece? Forty five. Sold forty bucks. One oh one. One oh one. You want them both? Just do both of them. Just two times the money there. Got these for forty five bucks a piece. I want one box. Another guy wanted another box. So rather than bid each other up, we just split them. And so we even them out to there's an even number in each. He'll just give me 45 bucks and take one, or I'll take the other. Hey, we're selling you two boxes for one money. We've got the uh, little torch, pressing wrench, gauge, clamp. You bet, right there. Five bucks on the pair. Two dollars, now three. Three on them here, a four. A four, five, five, six dollars, eight dollars, eight here, a ten. Here, twelve. Up here, twelve dollars, fourteen, sixteen, sixteen dollars, here, a sixteen. Sixteen dollars, here, a fourteen dollars, here, a sixteen dollars. Up here, a fourteen, sixteen dollars, here, a sixteen. Sold fourteen dollars, one oh one. All I wanted out of these was these right here. Those will make really cool salsa bowls. Clean them up a little bit. Hey, we got a, Kinda crazy idea. Hey, we got a, but I like the idea. Hey, we got a, 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 hey, we Man, I tell you what, three hours and they're still on the trailers. I think these are the longest running trailers I've ever seen in my life. They're not selling the building. Here we go on the building right there. We got about a pretty nice little round building. They give them all about. We get two hundred fifty on that. I get two hundred fifty dollars. We give a hundred. I want about hundred fifty. Hundred fifty. We're on the money. Hundred fifty. I want one fifty. Yeah. Now two hundred. I want about 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 two hundred. I
So I bought this tractor. I have no clue why I bought this tractor, but it went for scrap price. Four hundred and some dollars. So for that price, I couldn't turn it down. I'll have to come out here and load it up. I'll see if I can talk my dad into using his truck. Be a little bit easier to haul it. Especially if I drag it forward and load it backwards. It'd probably be a little bit easier. I bid on both of these, but they went too high for me. Of course, I got my truck here. Pretty excited about that. They're supposed to come get it Monday and haul it back for me. I am super stoked about this thing. I'm probably going to go ahead and leave the hood scoop on it and just try to sell all the sheet metal together. I know it's rusty, but it's also super rare. So, I mean, something like this, it's not like you can just go find another one in better condition. They're just really hard to find. So, I think the sheet metal on this truck will sell pretty good. And then I still have five or six tons of scrap left over after that. And if I wait till price goes back up to, you know, 200, 250 a ton, it'll scrap out for more than what I gave for it. And then this thing here, I don't know why I bought it, but once again, it went for scrap price. So I went ahead and grabbed it as if I need more compressors, but it has two radiators in it. I gave 300 for it, I think. It's got this radiator back here in the back and one in the front. And they're both copper radiators and those by themselves will bring my money back. So the rest of it was free and there's probably two tons of scrap here. So uh, I'll probably do that. Although this would make a really cool little trailer. If a guy took all the motor and pump and everything out of it, this would make a pretty cool little trailer of some sort. So uh, there might be a future for that yet. I tried to get this truck here, but it was just a little bit little bit more than I wanted to give. It's got a lot of really, really good parts, all that chrome parts on it, but I just didn't want to quite give that much for it. I think he got it for 900. I was hoping to get it for 800 or less. So I just went ahead and let that go. Skylar tried to buy this, but it went too high as well. Went for, I think, 700, 650, something like that. I bought this piece right here. You guys saw me buy that. That's pretty cool there. I don't remember what I even gave for it now. 40, 45, 50, something like that and I'll probably get around 200 bucks for that. And then in one of probably one of the most financially irresponsible moves I have ever done on this channel, I bought these. Three semi-trailers, clear full of stuff. No clue what's inside them. I think I gave 250 or 300 for this one. I think 800 for this one over here. And then that one back there I think was 625 or 725, something like that, I don't know. I have to go back and see. This in here should be pretty easy to tow. That in there should be pretty easy to tow. That's an old trailer there. That's an old uh, Fruhoff, Fru, Fru, if I can say it. I can't even pronounce it right. That's a pretty old one there. I might be able to actually sell that trailer once I get it cleaned out. And then this big monstrosity here has most of the tires on the back, but not all of them. It does have some trees, but Skyler lives just right down the street. He said he would cut the trees down for me to where I can get in here. And I think they can haul this one as well. Absolutely, positively, no clue what's in these things. I guess I should have made sure this had tires on both sides. I never did look at this side. Yeah, it's got tires. Okay, good. That would have been bad. But they're all aluminum trailers. So even if I scrap them out at what I gave for them, I'm way in the green. It's going to cost me probably about 300 bucks a piece to get these hauled back home. So I'm looking at spending another $900 or so. Maybe, maybe not that much. I don't know, but probably around 300. I'm guessing maybe more. I don't know. The uh, big winch truck is probably going to cost me about 200, 250 to get it hauled home, but it's a lot easier than these. These, they have to air the tires up and they got a deal that attaches to the front on a big winch truck and they can pick him up and hang lights and he's gonna have to drive slow because they're not technically legal but uh, he can get them back. These things are clear full of stuff. I have no clue what's in here but I know they're full to the back. I mean it is impossible to tell what I'm gonna find in these things. It's gonna be pretty awesome I think though. I'm gonna make a separate video about these. These are gonna be their own video going through these because I think my best video ever still to this day was that video of me going through those two mystery trailers. So definitely and there's a lot more stuff in these than those that I bought. So I'm thinking each of these might be its own video. I don't know. We'll see. This in here could be empty. This could be a dud. I don't know. We'll see. But we're going to worry about that another day. It is far too hot to be digging in trailers right now. So I just want to get them home for now. I've got 30 days to get them off the property. And then, of course, I bought this cute little building over here. The door's not attached. It, the hinges are broken off, but I can fix that. But it's a portable building. You can pick it up with that little eyelet. I definitely feel like I had to have that. Got it for 150 bucks. I think it'd be pretty cool to turn that into a little cabin of sorts. Skylar bought all the stuff inside it, so I don't know. That's gonna be pretty cool. I just gotta figure out how to load it. I figured 200 bucks for this bottle. Bottle set right here and the cart. Couldn't pass that up. I try to buy these bottles whenever I can because I don't like having leases on bottles. I like to actually own them. So I bought that there and I've got about 10 of these now, but that's okay. 
I have about 100 to 200 bucks a piece in them, so that was a fair price for this one. Plus, it came with a cart and an acetylene bottle, and I can probably sell the acetylene since I don't use it. And I didn't really need this, but we've only got one, and we have to take it back and forth between the two yards. So I figured now I have a second one, and I can just keep it at the other yard. The banding on it's all rusty and junk. I'll just throw that in the scrap, but uh, I'll go ahead and put some good banding on it, be able to use it. And I got the other one, but I got this one for five dollars, so a lot cheaper than the last one. I bought the whole pile of motors, except for the heads. I didn't buy the heads. Yeah, they were getting ready to sell all the Ford parts in one pile, all of this stuff right here. And I was all excited for that, instead of choicing it out, taking forever, and he had to have those heads. And so they were selling them choice by the piece, so I ran them up to 70 bucks, so he got it for 140 bucks for the pair of them. Way too much money for a set of FE heads that are all rusty, but he wanted them, so I made him pay for them, and then I bought the rest of it for 140. What's kind of cool is this tub right here was included with it. All sorts of good stuff in here. Here's a Bel Air emblem. Uh, somewhere, yeah, right here. Here's an old Chevy emblem. That's pretty cool. This here is off of a Stingray Fastback. It's a little on the rusty side, got some surface rust on it, but it's still a pretty good piece. Now here's an Enduro 250 emblem. There's some other odds and ends good stuff in here. Hard telling what I'll find down in the box. So, uh, pretty good deal. I don't know if these are worth anything or not. I used to be able to sell these 390s for about 150 bucks complete, and this in here would be worth about 100. Now, I don't know if they're still selling anymore or not. And then I got two C6 transmissions. I think those are C6s. 140 for all of this stuff. I'm going to come back probably Monday and get the big stuff. The motors, the building, the old riding mower. You have 10 bucks for that. I just thought it was interesting. Stallion Twin 7. For 10 bucks, I couldn't pass it up. Figured I can pedal that to somebody. That aluminum toolbox that was down here, I bought that for another guy. He asked me to bid on it, so I got it for him for 10 bucks. But then I bought these fork extensions here. Those will work perfect for my skid steer. Ooh, it's getting windy out here. They're still selling stuff out there along the tree row. I don't even know what they're selling. I guess I'll walk out there and see, see where Skyler's at. There's all sorts of iron here in the trees. That's what they're selling now. When it comes to auctions, I don't buy a lot of scrap. I try to avoid it. If it's cars or something like that, I'll bid on them. But stuff like this, I ain't got time to mess with this. I really don't have time to mess with the stuff I bought. But I think if I bring my skid steer over here, I can get everything in one trip. That's a good deal. Morris said he'll load all this stuff up for me Monday morning. Normally he's going to take the equipment out of here after tomorrow, but he said he'll be here Monday morning loading it. So he said he'd load all this stuff for me before he takes the, the uh, telehandler out of here. Well guys, I am done for today. I've loaded up just a little bit of stuff in the back of my truck, whatever I can get in here. I'm going to unload this on Monday morning, hooked up to my trailer, come back out here and get all of the rest of the small stuff. I say small, the, the medium sized stuff that I bought. And then I'll probably come back and get that generator and the tractor and then the other stuff I'm gonna to have to have somebody else haul for me. So I'll see you guys on Monday morning. And welcome back guys. It's actually Sunday today. We just got out of church, went and got something to eat. I went home and changed my clothes. I wasn't planning on doing anything today, but there's a cold front coming in and it's supposed to rain all night and all morning. So I've got these thermometers that are still in the cardboard sleeves and I got a few other things in the truck that I bought at the auction that cannot get rained on. So I'm gonna go ahead and go out to the shop now and get those unloaded. It's kind of hard to tell on camera, but it is extremely hazy today because of all the dust in the air. We've got 40 to 50 mile an hour winds going on right now and it has been bone, bone, bone dry. So there is a ton of dust in the air. The whole sky is cloudy. I didn't show this to you guys. Guy came up to me after the auction and said this was in some stuff that he had gotten or gave a dollar for it or something like that. Said I could just have it. Pretty interesting little piece though. An old cap tester for railed radiators. Set it down here. Pretty neat piece. I've got a couple helpers today. They're out here helping me. They didn't want to take a nap. Sometimes they take naps, but today they didn't want to, so they're going to be out here with me. I think this tailgate, I'm just going to leave it sitting out because it's just going to rain one day, so I'll let it get rained on, wash all the dust off of it, then I can take better pictures of it without actually having to wash it. So I'm thinking smarter, not harder. A lot of this stuff is just scrap. Like you guys may remember, I bought this crate here. I bought two of these, actually, and all I really wanted was the crates because these are good quality crates. I really like using these. There's a bunch of coffee cans, and most of them are full of just random nuts and bolts, so I scrapped most of them. But this in here has a whole bunch of those little uh, pins in it, and I'm always needing those for different things. So I'm going to go ahead and hang on to those. I'll put that in there on the shelf. But everything else, I think this here, yeah, that's good quality screws right there, so I'll save those. Here's those thermometers. I'll go ahead and take one out of the box for you. Here it is. Matches those signs that I bought. Pretty neat. P.O. Box 942, Hutchinson, Kansas. Livestock handling equipment top hand products and it's accurate it's almost 90 degrees 
pretty neat piece and that's the old Hutchinson phone number we don't have that area code anymore they changed that when I was a kid so these are probably as old as I am if not a little bit older so what I think I'll do is now that I have these and the signs is I'll put these together as pairs and try to sell them as pairs a matching sign and thermometer I think they'll sell that way halfway decent at least I think there's who I can't remember now I think there was a hundred and one box and 50 in the other and we split it to where it was 75 and 75 roughly so I bought 150 of them like I told you earlier that guy split it with me so I have 75 of them left here. I gave $45 for 75 of them, so not bad. A lot of stuff like this. This was attached to that. I'll sell the gauge on eBay. That'll sell for arts and crafts. That there is just scrap brass. So now I need to make me a scrap brass pile somewhere. I've been throwing the scrap steel and whatnot on the floor down here. What I really need to do is just get me a couple five gallon buckets to throw in here. That way I can throw brass in one, steel in the other. I'm trying to organize the stuff as I put it in here, so I've kind of got my little spots. I'm gonna put all my gauges, all my small gauges, right here in this little area right here and make a pile of them. And whenever I get, you know, 10 or 15 of them here, I'll be able to make a lot and then list them for sale. And like my instrument clusters, as I start getting those, I'm gonna put them here. Stuff I already have listed on eBay is all down there at that end. And then over here, I've got stuff that I'm keeping. I've got those pins in there, kept a couple of hose clamps, those screws, a pipe cutter, some punches, things like that that I can actually use. Uh, up here, I kind of decided this is gonna be my spot where I put fog lights and spotlights and things like that are up here in this area. And then over here is where I'm gonna put my gears. And then over here is where I'm gonna put my tool stuff. That's once again, mostly just arts and crafts type stuff. People use these, and wrenches like that. And once I get enough of one type of thing, I can list those for sale. Probably somewhere around here, up here somewhere, I'll pick a spot for carburetors and I'll just try to organize everything as I put it in here. All this stuff here, I actually already sold this. That's the only thing I actually got listed. Everything else I took pictures of, but I haven't, well, I got the keys listed, but nothing else have I listed yet. And this here sold about 30 minutes after I posted it. Bought it for $5 and sold it for 25 plus shipping. So not bad at all. Well, that's a bummer. Both bottles were empty, but that's okay. I kind of expected they would be. I didn't check them there, but I figured they would be empty, but a part of me was kind of hoping they would be full. But I got everything out of here ready for tomorrow, so I'll see you guys in the morning. Fun, fun, fun. It's raining pretty good out there. I'm not gonna be able to record with this camera, so I guess what I'm gonna do is switch over to the GoPro since it's waterproof. The only issue is, is I won't have very good audio on that. But you guys will be able to see what I'm doing at least. My dad's here now, he's gonna grab that tractor. I've got to go though, because I've got to follow him back with this semi-trailer, because it is not exactly, I mean, it's legal, but it's not, it, he needs someone to follow him, I'll just put it that way. And there's where I went to school at, high school anyway. Still looks about the same. Well, we had to do some roadside surgery and we ended up having to actually cut the, uh, the shafts that went to the brake pods because we couldn't get them to release. They released at first, but then they re-engaged and it was smoking like crazy. So luckily I had my cutoff saw with me and we got under there, chopped those, got them to release. Now we're on the road again. And we made it. We passed three sheriffs. <laughs> I thought for sure they were gonna pull us over, but they didn't do nothing. Usually a sheriff won't bother you. It's highway patrols and DOTs you gotta worry about. My dad drove in with that tractor and finally snagged that line, that Cox cable line for internet. I knew that was going to get snagged eventually, but it's hanging down. It's hanging on the building now. Now nobody can get through there anymore. So uh, I'm going to have to come over here by the shop. And I've got a little tool to fix it. The good news is, is I'll never have to worry about snagging this stupid thing again because it's gone. Well, 
one side rolls, one side doesn't. That's a bummer. No, it rolls backwards, it just doesn't roll forwards. That's nice. There it goes. There we go. Yeah, that side over there looks like they're even holding there pretty good. This side's kind of low, really low, but we'll air that up. Only thing I'm worried about is that back door being gone, all that stuff in there. This here is going to be kind of a slow drive because we're running on three tires. That inside dually on the uh, passenger side, the valve stem's all messed up and I can't get it to take air. And there's probably only about five pounds of pressure in it already. So I got the other three aired up though and they all held air fine. So I think we'll be all right. Just take it nice and slow. And it's a nice cold day too, so don't have to worry about that. This trailer was last tagged in 1972. If I read the tag right, either that or 1969, I can't tell. They use similar colors on the license plates, but somewhere around that range. So far, knock on wood, this has been pretty easy compared to the last one. That's a cool trailer. I'll probably find a home for this trailer. I probably won't scrap it. Right there by the overpass, just right down the street, that grill fell off. It was up on the top. It rode all the way. I was watching. And as soon as we got to that overpass, it hit a bump and it kind of shifted sideways and out it fell and it landed right there. So luckily we were just right down the road and made it the rest of the way just fine. This one's gonna be the test. No clue what's in it. It's locked up all the way around. It's got a tree on this side, a big tree, and a bunch of small trees on the other side. So uh, I guess we'll see if we can get it. There it goes. So far so good. Wiggle it away from that tree a little bit. Clear. Oh yeah. Ruined one tire, but that's okay. There's still two on this side. <laughs> There's two tires on the passenger side that hold air and one tire on the driver's side that holds air. <laughs> the other ones don't hold air. They're off the beat and of course they're tubeless rims. I've never been less happy to have tubeless rims on a trailer. At least the brakes were free, but uh, this whole trailer is kind of wonky. It's all leaning to the side. I don't know. It's, it's <laughs> Oh, and then the, uh, there's a tank underneath this trailer. It's clear full of honeybees. So that's the added bonus of this one. So that's going to be fun. I'll have to deal with that later at some point. But we're going to limp it back to town, and uh, hopefully it makes it. But I am going to go ahead and cut one of the locks off of this, this trailer here, just so we can kind of see what's inside it, see if there is anything inside it, because this one may be empty. It's a very real possibility, but uh, I guess we'll find out here in just a minute. Well, I cut it open, and I, uh, I kind of think I probably should have let the other guy buy this one that was bidding on these, and I should have just bought these too. But you don't ever know. I guess that's the name of the game. But I'm not going to look in it, because I don't want to spoil the surprise. We'll wait for that for a future video. It's clear full. There's probably some good honey in there. But I'm not going to get it out of there. What I'm going to do now is get something to eat, come back, and if my dad's not available, I'm going to have to unload my trailer, go back over there, and get the rest of my stuff. If my dad's available, then I'll just go with him, and we'll go back over there and get the rest of my stuff. All right, we got everything unloaded, just stacked it all over there for now. Right now, what I've got to do is I've actually got to go back to where I got those little mail trucks. The guy I bought this from is Skyler, and he was just doing the cleanup job. Well, I guess the city said that it's not clean enough, and if it's not done by Thursday of this week, or by Wednesday of this week, Thursday, they're coming in and taking everything that's left on the property. And there's a few things there that I actually already paid for. So <laughs> I got to get over and get those. Here we go. Here's my good load of stuff. I mainly just went to get these windows down here. Those are for those West Coasters. And this fence up here, and then that tub up there. That's a pretty neat little tub. I'll show you to you in a minute. But anyway, I'm walking around looking around, and there's tons of copper wire and brass laying around on the ground. And I thought, man, I just can't see all that stuff going to the going to the wherever it's going to go the city was just going to clean it up probably get rid of it do whatever with it and then this old mailbox was there as well so i went ahead and grabbed all that
I'll tell you what, those trailers are a little bit harder to wheel around than I thought they were going to be with the loader. Now, they wheel easy, but I can't see where it's going because where the windshield's at right in the center, I have to kind of lean out as I'm driving to kind of see where the edges are. And a few times I had to stop and back up and pull it forward and re-go again. And it was, it was a little bit of a challenge. But I got them both back there, the short ones anyway. The long ones still up front. They haven't showed up to get those bees yet. So uh, they're supposed to be here in a little bit. So probably tomorrow or the next day, I'll take it and wheel it out back as well. I'm not sure when I'll have time to make a video of going through those. Like I said, today is my only day off for this week, so I won't have another day off again for, uh, it's probably going to be about two and a half, three weeks. But that's okay. I'm sure they're clear full of spiders, and maybe by then it'll be a little bit colder, so <laughs> maybe the spiders won't come out and get me. I'm definitely glad it was cold for those bees today. It wasn't cold, cold today, but it was about 45 and rainy, so that kept the bees under control, because the day of the auction, they were not happy. But I've been working for about 12 and a half hours now today, and I am absolutely exhausted. So this video is done. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite part of this video was, what your favorite item was. As always, I hope you have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day. And remember to get out there and find an adventure. And hopefully it doesn't involve bunches of bees. Or maybe if you like bees, it does. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you next time. Didn't get it.